Right. Well, hidden deep within the stimulus package are provisions that could greatly limit the health care that we all receive. My next guest says those provisions, in fact, could give the, the uh, federal government unprecedented control over our medical treatment. Betsy McCoy is the former lieutenant governor of New York. She's the founder and the chair of the Committee to Reduce Infection Deaths. She's also a senior fellow at the Hudson Institute. Betsy, great to have you with us. Thank you. And I, I really appreciate this opportunity to call to the public's attention and actually encourage them to look in this bill, which anybody can download now. It looks big, but if yeah. you have a computer, you, you can download it. You know, I look like we're having warring uh, that's legislation. Right. We've got the, I've got my pink slips on mine. And uh, this bill will affect every individual in the United States. The bill is emphatic about that. It says several times, every person in the United States, every individual, check out page 445, 454, 479. It says several things, Lou. First of all, it says that every single person in the U.S. must have their medical treatments entered into an electronic federal database. Now, electronic medical records can be a good thing. It means that if you have to go to the hospital, you can get your records instantly, right. that your doctor has more at his fingertips when he needs that information. That but portability the, uh, is, I think, really everyone would agree, a very uh, good absolutely thing. beneficial and yes. it's something that we would look forward to. Yes. Your problem. It's, a, it's compulsory now, however, okay. but in addition, it goes much farther than that. It promises some things. It promises that whatever the system is, it's going to eliminate inefficient care, excessive care, uh, duplicative care, it's going to eliminate disparities of care between in, one person and another. And the issue is in whose opinion is That's it? That's right. Is Whatever uh, the federal government deems unnecessary care. Take a look at page 442. Right. Um, and worse yet, and now I'm speaking really to the physicians, this bill gives the Secretary of Health and Human Services the power to determine which doctors are, quote, meaningful users of this new system. It's against against the rules not to be. And empowers the secretary to use, quote, increasingly stringent measures to enforce right. compliance. You know the, the proponents of this uh, of this legislation mm -hmm. are saying that it is only about the technology, only about the data. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you well, respond? First of all, I'd like to know why it slipped in here. This is a stimulus bill. It's about taxing and spending. The spending... Betsy, I know you well enough to know that when you ask the question, you've got the answer. Mm -hmm. Well, I looked at page 196 of Tom Daschle's book. Remember, he was planning on being Secretary of HHS, Health and Human Services. And on page 196, he said he was going to advise the next president. This was written before President Obama was elected. That any health care legislation be slipped into a budget bill so that it would avoid debate or delay. He said this issue is so important that it should not be stalled by Senate protocol. Well, Senate protocol is his word for it. I call it democracy. These provisions... We wouldn't want, we wouldn't want to burden a uh, government with a little thing like a vote and actual hearings and... That's uh, right. A little bit like the economic stimulus legislation, isn't it? That's right. So That's where it. is the transparency they promised? Right. And where are we headed? with this legislation. We'll find out. Uh, Senator John Ensign, by the way, challenged uh, uh, Senator uh, Reid and uh, Speaker Pelosi to uh, uh, to live up to the standards of transparency and accountability that the President uh, promised uh, and, uh, and ask them to please uh, provide televised hearings of the conference meetings that will be taking place on this economic stimulus legislation. Uh, we can't wait to hear from the Speaker and from the Majority Leader. Betsy McCoy, great to see you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, what